Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Apico. Last episode, we, we created the laboratory, as I didn't call it <laughs> during the episode, but uh, I have since determined it's the greatest name of all time. Uh, so we have our laboratory, which is great. Um, we also have our workshop that we have started to create. There's all kinds of stuff to do. I mean, it, it just, it, it's like there, there's too much to do almost uh, in the game. There, there's just an absurd amount of stuff. Um, I'm not even going to worry about the damn trees right now. I, I think I have to chop all of them down at this point because they are out of... They're out of stuff. I suppose we could maybe try to do that now. My inventory is so filled up with freaking everything. Um, let's, let's maybe try to get some of this at least put away for right now. Um... I guess this isn't really my building chest. This is my building chest. So let, let's take some of this out. Let's slip it into here. Yoink, 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 yoink. And also a yoink. Got some of those. Okay. And then we'll, we'll throw more wood related things. This is better. So we have our verdant bee. This was a very exciting uh, little bit that happened at the end of the last episode. If you missed it, we also got more frames chilling with honey in them dude um that is fantastic uh let's let's do some uncapping over here i i actually i i need to get anna into this series so that we can get more stuff done <laughs> like there there's so much to do there's so much to do um it's crazy so you are running the hope is you are going to give me another verdant bee and then i can run two verdants in another test machine here and and see what we come up with that's kind of the goal um that's good rocky horror b is he he just doesn't go that often right he just doesn't go that often um that's okay let's chop down um these trees and i'm assuming that that wow does it really not drop the oh does it not drop the tap I guess it doesn't drop the tap. Okay. That's kind of garbage, if I'm being honest with you. That that that's kind of garbage. It does drop the uh it does drop the the canister, which is good. That's very good. Let's replant these. So I'm just going to basically set up a line here. Um I'll I'll extend it all the way to there. That sounds good. This is still just going to be like tree tapping alley. I think that that's a, a fine way to kind of think about it. Um, get things nice, nice and happy there. This is good. This is very good. Let, let's empty out these. Holy honey, dude. Holy honey. You love to see that. I want to get a bee box set up and, and dump all of these extra bees, uh, into the bee box. And then I, I really just want to take a look at, was that, <laughs> I thought that was a different species. It is not a different species. Okay. Um, I want to take a look at some stuff that we have going here. I want to make a new crate as well. Give me my wood chest and large crate craft me. Thank you. I'm going to put him right here. I'm going to dump all of these canisters in here for right now. Um, put that back. We're going to target you. Dump all this crap in here. I just don't need them right now, right? I just don't need them. So we're, we're going to chill with that. So you're uncapped. I got, dude, I got to relook at the guide to figure out what the hell we're doing. This is the bees. There's so many of them. There's so many. Um, this is the guide. Okay, so we want to extract honey next. So that's going to be the, the extractor. Okay, so first we uncap them, then we extract them. Okay, it, there's a lot of terminology, dude. It starts to starts to wear you down so this is the uncapper this is the extractor did we build the extractor at the end of the last episode it looks like we have that's very good okay and then these bees finished okay they oh my god dude we have so many frames we have so many frames all happy wow two common blessed bees holy lordy so they're they're gonna be producing a lot forest bee common forest okay it just start bringing again. I'm, I'm not, you know, we're not going to get the, the verdant immediately, right? That's, that's just how it happens. Okay, you're an uncapped. Let's get these all figured out. 
I know eventually we're going to get uh, some kind of automation for this, most likely. Um, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Uh, so for now, just just get these nice and happy. Can I do multiple at a time? Oh, that would be so nice if we could. Does does that work like that? It does not. You you can put multiple in, but you can't uh, you can't do multiple at the same time. Fair enough. I mean, I I kind of. I understand that. So those are now all uncapped. So now this this is the infuser. This is the infuser. Okay, so we have not made the extractor. That's right. We need more glue for that. Okay, let's make more glue. This all makes perfect sense. So more glue has been grabbed. Let's grab all this. I'm going to need one more glue. That puts us at 10 that now means that um, I just need I need stone, actually. It's not often we need stone. This, this is good. We go on a little bit of a journey today. I do want to do some exploration here sometime soon. Um, I know that we can get on a freaking boat and literally like go off of this island and go elsewhere. Um, I think it's a, a fascinating idea, right? But I, I haven't had the opportunity to unlock a boat yet. <laughs> so... I can't really explore. Uh, I know some people mentioned, you know, Tyler, you should go go explore a little bit. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. At least not yet. Um, but in the future, I will be able to explore. Especially, I mean, trees grow. Rocks don't grow. I know that that, that may be a surprise to a lot of you. But um, rocks, it is not functional for them to, to grow into a, another rock. It's just not how it works. Nature is crazy, right? It is crazy. Um, I've seen Stranger Things happen. By the way, season four of Stranger Things has released. I haven't seen season two, three, or four. Um, but to those that are interested in that kind of thing, congratulations. You you made it. Um, I only care about the Obi-Wan show that released. Okay, um, this is the extractor. Bang. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's get this sucker in here. We're, we're just going to happily put him right there. And then how do you work? So I put in my uncapped frames, DRPM. Okay, so it kind of, the, the more I crank this, the faster it goes. But it, it has some like kickback. That's kind of cool. Okay. So now this will just kind of go at this speed for a little bit. This is really neat, dude. This is really neat. Wow, I really like this. I am a huge fan of this. No more room for frames. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is such a neat idea for for doing this extraction process. It's actually really cool. It's really cool. I, I'm a huge fan. Dump those in, please. Take these frames back, and then we can put these frames right back into our beehives, um, and we'll be we'll be big chilling. So we've got bee pollen. We've got a couple of different seeds, which is interesting. Um, bees wax, and then honeydew. Okay. Very good. Look at this, dude. You love to see it. I'm just going to keep that crap in there. Um, I don't really need to take it out for right now. Um, there's five beeswax. You're giving me a free canister. Oh, freaking whoop. <laughs> Who cares? Now that we've got honey, we can start putting it to good use and make some apicola. Okay, we need a fermenter. Takes rainwater and honey. Okay, interesting. And then you can infuse it with spices for increased speed, night vision, or even a headache the following day. I love that. Okay. Very cool. And then making honey. So we've already done this. We can claim some glossy pearls. Talking to the people in town. So we, we can buy stuff from them once we, uh, once we get some stuff going. So what is this? Starting to get sick of seeing use a microscope to learn more on your bees? Guess we better get ourselves a microscope. Microscopes let you see dominant three plus recessive traits that okay of a specific bee also shows the flower trait buffs being applied okay interesting um we're gonna get back to that in the future i think uh you also want me to get the predictor i should get the predictor i think that's a good idea um but let's let's dump our frames in right so this is our rocky bee so I guess I'm going to fill the frames. I don't necessarily know what the hell's going to happen with that, but I'm I'm intrigued by the idea. We'll we'll just keep dumping frames in here. Those were our blessed bees, so I'm I'm chill having them be nice and happy. Okay, this is this is good. 
this is good. Nighttime is a strange time in this game to get stuff done. Um, you can get a lot done, but it also is a little, a little bit wonky. A little bit wonky. I feel like, I mean, we, we don't use any of these apiaries. So, you know what? Just, just get these going. Perhaps I should get another bee going in the lab, man. Should, should we get another bee going in the lab? Let's do a rocky bee and a common bee. That's a queen? Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm, I'm going to basically run rocky bees in the lab. We're, we're getting experimental rocky mode. Um, and we're just going to... Where did you put that bee? You put it over here. Fair enough. Put you in there. So that's now two queens rolling in there. Once they do some stuff and they're only populating this this set of flowers over here which is kind of dumb i should probably put some other flowers over there just for possible cross pollination and things of that sort uh but let's let's not sweat it for right now i do want to get um all of these bees i mean i really i should just get more breeding right but i'm gonna lose track of what the hell i'm doing with the breeding so this is probably a bad idea um give me a forest bee so this guy is forest common right so this one down here is going to be forest verge so forest will be the first line i'm going to actually take you out second column is going to be rocky right Second column, Rocky. Then I'm going to grab my hammer. And we're going to go... Did, did someone just come out of this one? <laughs> what the heck? This is a shovel, not, <laughs> not a hammer. My hammer is right here. Fair enough. Okay, take this. Do not take the floor off. Put that put that right back. Um, this guy, let's do common verge. So this is going to be our verge set. Uh, so this is going to be Rocky Verge in here. You just dumped... Where'd you dump them? What am I doing? What am I doing? You're a queen. You're a queen. You're the Rocky Queen that was just chilling. Okay, put you outside, please. Rocky Queen outside. I'm going to lose so much track of this. It's going to be so bad, dude. It's going to be so bad. So now Forest Verge? No, we want Verge... Give me Verge Common in there. So that's this one. And then this one, we want to do Verge Rocky. But I need another Verge B. And I can pull one from here. Okay. This is fine. So then you are going to be Verge Rocky. But with the emphasis on Verge. Okay. Okay. I think this is fine. I, I think it was overcomplicated. I'm going to tell you. I think I, I overcomplicated it to the absolute extreme. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, these guys are still producing. Let, let's put people in here because we might as well use these damn hives, right? Um, I still want to keep our verdant. We should maybe just go be collecting. We should maybe just go be collecting um, and get as much stuff as we possibly can. I'm also going to continue to just stack hives down here. I don't really see any reason not to. So let's get a forest forest there. And then we'll slip on up here. You're going, you're not. We'll go forest forest there. And then here we'll go. I don't really want to do more Rockies. I would love if we had another common bee, which I'm assuming we can just snag one from here. Okay. So then you will rock common, common. This is all our purebred bees. Happy and, and healthy and having a good time. Then the laboratory is all of our, like, fricked up bees. <laughs> that we're doing an insane amount of testing on. That's kind of my plan. Um, and I think that it works better than we think. I think it'll be fine is kind of what i'm going for it's good we are still in a position this is going to get really old really fast if i have to do all of these by hand um so we're we're gonna have to figure out some way to automate this 
Um, I don't know if it's possible, to be honest with you, but I, I have to assume that it is. Dump these in here. Let's get you spinning again. Takes a little bit to get him going, but then once he gets going, um, it, it ain't too bad. We'll, we'll go one more for 91 RPM. Super smooth, super clean. I feel happy just letting that run now. There's no more room. Fair enough. I'll take the seeds out. So these seeds, I don't think these are... These are just our normal plants. There, there's nothing There's nothing interesting about those. Yeah, so you're just going. I'll, I'll crank your RPM one more time. I'll do it one more time just to finish that last one. Because you might as well. I mean, having the frames is nice because then you can put them back in and let them keep producing. Right? So you're all filled up. You will dump these three, and then you will dump this one. And then there's still frames that are happy. So, breeding is complete. We have not gotten a verdant. Instead, we got three forests. Okay, so this is where I want to get the predictor, right? Today's all about bee breeding. If you if you weren't here for bee breeding, um, I'm sorry, but it, it's all about bee breeding today. Give me this predictor. Um, and the predictor's going in the lab, dude. Like, there, there's no reason to really beat around the bush. We, we want the predictor in the lab. And we're just going to put it smack dab in the middle of the room. Because um, this is where we want to use it. So, give me these three forest bees, right? And I'm actually, I'm going to save ourselves a little bit of, a little bit of pain and suffering. These are our three forest bees. I'm dumping the rest of these bees in. You can't add this species to this bee box. Why? So it the bee box only holds it only holds a one unique kind? Is that the vibe? That's a little weird. Okay. So I guess this is all of our rocky bees in there. That is fine, right? It's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. Um you are verge common. Let's dump you back in and where where did the verge go? I got too too happy with my shift clicks, dude. Wait, what the heck? Oh, there's the verge. Verge and forest look way too much alike. Okay, verge blessed forest verge forest verge. Let let's do a forest verge forest verge. We do have a a blessed purebred forest. We'll just keep him down there. And then this is rocky verge verge rocky. This is fine. I mean, I think this is all going great. I want to look at these forests and see what the hell's going on. Okay? So, I put you down here. That's... This is fine. Put put this in here. So, this bee is not a queen. Fair enough. Okay. So, I have to only do this on queens. I got you. So, yoink. Put you. Put you. Let's see what that makes. So, this is a forest. This is a forest. Do you hold any traits? You're literally a purebred forest. What? How the hell did that happen? This guy's also purebred. Hold hold on. <laughs> hold on. What the hell happened here? You are not supposed to be a purebred. You you were supposed to be the chosen one. That was supposed to bring me uh verdant bees. Are are you also purebred? You are purebred. What the hell, man? Okay, um well, we have to fix that. So do me a favor again, go back to our verdant bee here, right? So you are common forest. I gotta get me another common bee. Because we this is all messed up. This is all messed up. Where where do we got common bees? I'm gonna have to just pull them out of a normal hive, I think. Um you got a common for me? Yeah. Give give me this common. And then I gotta get you in here with uh, a purebred forest, I think. So right now, take take you out of the predictor. These, these are two purebred forests. We can just set them up in, in hives, right? Um, apiaries outside. I want to get a forest. So this is, this is a purebred verge. Okay. <laughs> My brain is breaking, dude. We, we have to be more organized. These are all verge. How the hell do you get so many verge bees? I'm losing my mind. Do we really got no forest just chilling around? Okay, I'll, I'll come down here. I'll come down here. Forest bee. There's like 800 of them. Okay, this this is fine. 
Take take the forest bees. Sorry, I have to crank my fingers between. Uh... Wait, hold on. Do do it like this. And then let's analyze you. So you're breeding with the forest, okay? So take you out. I want to look at you in the predictor. So you are... You're a purebred forest. Okay. You're a purebred forest. What the hell? Oh, that's because I didn't actually put the bee that I did. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. This makes more sense. So... You have a chance to become a verdant verdant at 20%. That's great. We have to get a freaking microscope. How the hell do I get a microscope, dude? Um, we got to figure that crap out. So crossbreeding, you're all happy. You're giving me frames. This is good. Rehabilitate. That's fantastic. I don't care right now. Microscope it out. I got to make a microscope. I think the microscope allows us to see the drones, right? Instead of the queens. Maybe. I don't know. How do you make a microscope? You are... Where the hell are you? That's a sawmill. Are you Are you in bees? You, you have to be in bees. Uncapper, centrifuge, treated frame. How the hell do you make a microscope, dude? That's a predictor. There ain't no microscope. It don't exist. It, it actually don't exist. Did, did I not read the book? <laughs> Use a microscope. My, I don't know how to get you. It's in beekeeping. This is the beekeeping tab? There is no microscope. Okay. That's a lot to unpack, I'm going to tell you. Um, there There is no way to receive that. Let, let's do some harvesting. It's a stressful day today in, in Apico, I, as I have become overwhelmed with the bee. I, what we need to do, in all seriousness, is focus one species at a time. If I don't focus one species at a time, we're going to get lost. We're, we're going to get absolutely lost. And if we get lost, we're, we're screwed, right? Because um, then I'm just never going to know anything. Um, get you going. You're you're a blessed verge. We do actually have another blessed... That's a, that's the verdant, though. Okay, this is fine. What, what are you doing? It's an undiscovered bee. Oh my god, we actually did it. <laughs> We actually did it. Okay. Um, cool. Very cool. Let's discover the new bee. So what are you? Ooh, you're green. You are a vibrant bee. Okay. So how did we get you? We got you from Common Verge. Okay. Okay. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. Right? So that was in our Verge column here. Very good. Um, I'm going to straight up use this bee, right? So, vibrant and common verge. Let's just see. I, I want to examine this guy in in here, right? So, take out our common that we're we're gonna we're gonna put you like right back in here, right? Because you have the chance to become a verdant. You are now okay. Interesting. So, 25% chance to be a vibrant, vibrant at the end of this. That's freaking great. Right? That's for 50% chance to get a vibrant verge. This is so good. This is so good. So, then you can go back into here and just vibe. That That's kind of my, my understanding of this situation. We, we want you to just vibe. So, this is a verge purebred. What we should do is over here where we have a shiny verge in one of these, right? We should put the shiny verges together. I should just start calling them like shiny virgins. I think that that would be a, a brilliant way to word it. Okay, do me a favor. Take this. <laughs> There's so many menus, dude. There's so many menus. Put this in here, this in here. Very good. And then we have more things to uncap. You guys are going. You guys are going. I'm now realizing that if we don't have, um, if we don't have frames, then these are a waste to run them. Uh, so that's, that's something to keep in mind for sure. But this is good. I, I, I unironically think we made good progress today. Um, because we're, we're getting, we're getting new stuff, right? We're, that's all that really matters. We're getting new bees. We're, we're getting things figured out. Uh, we're learning a little bit more about uh, how 
the bee breeding and bee keeping works uh, in this game. And I'm uh, I'm having a good time with it. Hopefully you are too. I, I, I understand that this is probably like not exciting at all. <laughs> maybe, I mean, maybe you're enjoying it. I, I sometimes get a little, sometimes I get a little uh, on edge, I guess, about whether or not uh, things are as entertaining. I'm having an absolute blast with this, but I know that it can be a little bit slow depending on your opinions of, you know, animated beekeeping in a video game. Uh, I think our frame broke, which is unfortunate. So as, as we continue to, to crank these, our frames are going to start breaking a little bit more. I don't really love that it gives us the seeds, but I also understand that that's probably unlocking new seeds for us. I, the, the the hybrid seeds are still messing me up, though. I don't, I don't know how we get new plants. I know that the bees are supposed to breed the new plants. My brain is all fricked up on how the hell that's ever going to occur. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, very good. We should make more frames in the future. Um, I mean, we're going to need to make more frames in the future. But... Uh, for right now, just just chill. That may be a, a next episode kind of thing. So you are finished. You have some verge forest, forest verge, and then a purebred verge. Okay. So purebred verge is fine. Let's get you two back going, right? So that's verge forest, forest verge. Then I want to examine you. So you have, you're just going to become a forest forest. Okay, so all of a sudden you're a purebred forest queen. That is ass. That is ass. We we don't want that. We don't want that at all. You you can basically just go to a farm out north. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't care about you. We can let you run there, I suppose. Forest common, common forest. We'll start them again. We'll examine you. But I have a feeling this is going to result in the same issue again. So this, well, we, we do have a, a 20, well, we have a 40%. Okay, math is not lining up here. 25, 25. Oh, wait a minute. I see. Okay. The fact of the matter is we can still get a virgin from this. Verdant. Sorry. Still got virgins on the brain, I suppose. Um, That's fine, I think. That is completely fine. This purebred forest, I just don't care about. I want to get these. This is our purebred verdant. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get you back going. Get you guys back going. That was a shiny. Get you guys back going. This is where we have a shiny verge and a shiny verge. Get you two nice and happy. Also, this is your Rockies. I want to make more bee boxes. We, we need... I need to completely revamp this. I need to completely revamp this. It, it's not working, okay? It, it gets way too confusing to figure out what the hell we're doing. So we have to completely revamp the way that we have our hive system currently oriented. I want to have... Here's my plan. I want to have four apiaries for each type of bee that we have. Okay? Um, split up in separate areas, B box next to each one of them. It's going to be freaking brilliant when it's done. It's going to be brilliant when it's done, but it's going to take us a little bit of time to get to that point. It's going to require a little bit of organization. It's going to require a little bit of work. And that's probably work we're going to do in the next episode, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, because we're, we're rapidly approaching the end of this one. Um, I just want to do some, some maintenance on these guys. Those trees also grew, which means that we should start tapping them. I haven't even done anything with infusing wood yet because I'm knee-deep in freaking beehives. Um, oh my god, dude, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. Okay, uh, what's going on here? We did get another vibrant bee, which is nice. Um, it's a purebred vibrant bee, which is good as well. Um, issue is, obviously, that the combination of these may not create the bee that we are looking for we'll, we'll see what happens so you're a you're a purebred wow dude i mean pretty decent chance of a vibrant here 
if we can pull it off, that would be that would be very good if, if that happens. Okay, you're happy. You're supposed to be where we have this forest going. But we don't really care about you. You're a forest common. Okay, hold on. Let you let you go. Let you go. I think you're the one that just just to <laughs> just to check. Yeah, you can still turn into a verdant. Okay, put you back in there then. That's fine. That's very fine. If you're concerned that I don't know what I'm doing, um, your concern is absolutely justified. Um, I'm freaking lost in a lot of ways. Uh, but the important thing is that I'm not going to be lost forever. I, I think that we have... I needed to be more organized with this, and I'm, I'm biting the, the dust a little on it right now. Right? It gets it gets a little confusing when you have all these bees together, especially when some of them look like freaking exactly the same, <laughs> right? The 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 damn virgin forest messed me up for like a, a half of this episode. Um, so if we can get that figured out, I I think that that will be pretty good for us. Um, I am going to deforest this entire area because then the goal is that I'm going to extendo. Our, our hives here all the way to the the back now this probably is not the correct area to be doing this right because this actually is not that much space uh but for where we're at in the game i i think it's fine so let's let's crank this wall off and uh i want to grab our fence post here and then we're just going to happily extend this all the way back here and all the way down. And then you know what? We're going to remove part of the wall. Uh, put, put these down, please. We're going to remove part of the wall right here. So we have easy access in here to see our bees. Right? I think this is so much better. Um... We're going to wait until they're all wrapped up and happy with their cycles, uh, which will be in the next episode. Will be in the next episode. This is a B pun. Um, but this is fine. It's it's a mess, you know. We we have uh we've gotten some things a little bit a little bit crazy. It's getting a little bit wild. I'm I'm we got a lot on our plate, but I'm I'm having a good time with it. I want to make a couple more chests real quick because um, I want to start storing. You need sticks, huh? Okay. Um, I'm going to have to make more. So let's, let's make some more. Oh, dude, we, we got wood out the ass right now. But let's let's just make some happy sticks. We'll, we'll grind these for a little bit. Um, I, want to, I want to make a chest over in the workshop that is basically like our sellable things. And I, I think that that would be a good way for us to keep tabs on some stuff, right? And make sure that we have uh, stuff kind of figured out. So, this is fine. Open this. Craft you. That's now a big, big crate we put over here. And, and we maybe just treat it as a cell bin, you know, like Stardew Valley-esque. And we just put it outside. Nah. I'll, I'll put it inside. I'll put it inside. I love that I made this big long thing. We're not using like half of it. So in here, we'll put the propolis. We'll put this. I guess that's actually all I'm putting in it. Um, so that wasn't necessarily a great plan by me. What have you done? Just Rocky Bees. All purebred Rocky Bees. Un unfortunate. Get, get you. Well, hold on. Let's breed Rocky Common, right? We'll breed Rocky Common, get them going, crank these guys. So these uh, frames, though, I said I was going to end the episode, and here I am continuing. These frames may have something else inside of them, because these are Rocky Bee frames, right? Maybe? I, that's the way that I see it. So let, let's see what happens. Um, they, they may have some different materials inside of them since we, we were dealing with the Rocky Bees. And then that would be a new discovery for us. So what do you got inside of these, my friend? Let's find out. Little Spinny. I mean, uh, we kind of know they're going to give us stone. <laughs> um, but that's, that's okay. It gave us stone, dude. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's super cool. 
I I think that's really neat. I'm gonna tell you. So this this is kind of a way for us to get more stone, which is uh, which is interesting, useful, maybe not, right? I mean, do we really need more stone? Um, yes and no. I I feel like there's there's value in it, and then there's also like no value in it at the same time. Um, but it's neat, you know. I I think that it's it's an interesting idea that we can at least get materials from these bees i think it's beautiful i think it's beautiful you're going uh you're all rocky purebreds let's let's put a rocky and a verge together see what that comes up with we'll get them going you're all wrapped up you're rocky verge as well so we'll just rebreed you so these are both rocky verge on the bottom let's uh i mean let's examine you right so you, Rocky Verge, Rocky Verge. No no chance at getting anything crazy going there yet. And then you're a Rocky Verge queen, which will still result in a Rocky Verge. Okay. Let, let's check one thing real quick just before we, we wrap. Okay. Is it even possible to get a, a Rocky? There's no freaking, there's no freaking Rocky. What the hell am I doing, dude? I'm out here trying to get... <laughs> I'm out here trying to get rocky bees. There's no, no, there's no species that we can get from them. Okay, I'm dumb. Um, I've gone on for too long. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying Apico, please feel free to leave a like on the video. Next episode, we revamp our entire hive system. Um, I'm excited for it. Hope you are too. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.